The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who on this day presented your only begotten Son in your holy temple to be received in the arms of Saint Simeon, we humbly beseech your mercy that you would bless and kindle with the light of your heavenly benediction these candles which we, your servants, receive and desire to light and bear to the glory of your name through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Amy. Yes, if you can get us. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Hymn number 395.
sound. Our joy will go with music crowned. Our voices gladly bending for Christ goes with us all our way. Today, tomorrow, every day, His love is never ending. Sing out, ring out, jubilation, exultation, tell the story. Page 184. You may extinguish your candles. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching Him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. And you forgave the iniquity of my sin. O almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities with which I am ever offended you and justly deserve your temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them, sincerely repent of them. And I pray you of your boundless mercy, and for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, gracious and merciful to me, a poor sinful being. Upon this your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God unto all of you. And in the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you of all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We pray the antiphon together. O Lord, arise to our help and redeem us for your mercy's sake. We have heard with our ears, O God. Our fathers have told us, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, good will toward men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great mercy. O oh God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, 
that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father Almighty, have mercy upon us. For Thou only art holy, for Thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, as your only begotten Son was this day presented in the temple in the substance of our flesh, grant that we may be present to you with pure and clean hearts through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the second chapter. Glory be to thee, O Lord. When the time came for the purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to, to what is, is said in the law of of the Lord, two pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came in the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation that you have prepared in the presence of all people, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. We now make confession of the true Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed on page 192. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It is certainly meet, right, and salutary that we consecrate this sanctuary, this chapel that the kids have sat through and learned so much. These children who have come today, who are here, this is not certainly not their first time here in this space, but they've come to know this space and to love it because their fingerprints are on it. Their fingerprints are everywhere in Augsburg Teaching Chapel. The elders' fingerprints are on the Augsburg Teaching Chapel. From the very beginning, the people of Augustana's fingers were on the Augsburg Teaching Chapel. When it was small and in what is now the music room, 
to where God blessed us and we grew out of it and into this space, the fingerprints of Augustana and all of you are all over the place. And I have news. None of that matters unless the fingerprint of Jesus the Christ is on it. None of it matters if Christ is not present here. See, we're, we all know that we are damned to hell in our sin if we don't have Christ. Well then, here in this sanctuary, if it's not consecrated with the Word of God and with His body and His blood, then this place, if His Word is not spoken here at all, then this place would be a den of iniquity, just, being, just simply being empty. But as it is, the Word of God is spoken here in these walls. It has been, and I, and I must confess, that it has been a great desire of mine to have midweek divine service. You can't get enough Jesus. And I thought that if I could teach the little ones, then the little ones would want to see Jesus. And that's what's happened. That's what's brought us all here to this day. The children's desire to even glimpse Jesus. Even those who can't commune today get to see Jesus with their own eyes. And I will ask them like always, who and what is this? The body of Christ. Amen. Who and what is this? The blood of Christ. Amen. And their fingerprints will be on the body of Christ. And so the fingerprint of Christ will be upon them. And so it is meet, right, and salutary that we bless this place today in this way. Honestly, with the attendance that we have, I am very excited. It may not always be this way, but I know that God's Word will always be here and you will always be welcome. Because what we have here is a refuge for sinners. See, in our, in our text, we have a man who was righteous and devout, and we know that he was righteous and devout because God said that he was in his text. That's how we know. Not by his works or his deeds, but because God declared him righteous and devout. And then told him that he would not die until he saw the Lord's Christ. But he did not merely see the Lord's Christ. He touched him. He held him. Simeon's fingerprints were on the Son of God. And the Son of God's fingerprints were upon him. And so what the Nook de Menis is, what all of it is, is saying, I am now ready to die. We sing that after we take Holy Communion. Because once we have eaten the body of Christ and drank His blood, there's nothing left for us in this life but to die until the next week when we get to do it all over again. And so right after we, we say, oh, we have seen the Christ, we have consumed the Christ, our sins are forgiven, I could die now and everything would be perfect. That's why we sing the Nuke Dimittis right after we receive Holy Communion. And so in our text, the blessing of Christ, the presentation of our Lord, it is right that we set apart this place with the fingerprint of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And in doing so, we know that we have the gospel. We know that we have the medicine of immortality, that which sinners yearn for, that which we need, and that which our children grow to learn and to love. 
in our art we have here in our triptych, we have a very, we meticulously look, looked and picked these out. And it's particularly interesting for the children. Because what you'll see here is you will see Eki Homo there on the far side, which means behold the man in Latin, which was between the time when he was beaten and scourged and then brought out. And Pilate said, behold the man, saying, shall you continue with this crucifixion? And they yelled, crucify him, crucify him. What's interesting about that is that the man, behold the man, is a messianic title. Pilate didn't even know it. There were many sons of God, but there was only one son of man. And then on the other side, we have Salvador Mundi, Latin for Savior of the World. The same Christ. The cost and the benefit. The price and the heritage that is given unto us. And in the middle, the prodigal son. God the Father wrapping us in His love and forgiveness. And we, the prodigal son, praying that we would be forgiven. And below that, you find the very thing that ties it all together. The cross of Christ on the altar where we receive the benefits. I believe deeply that in this teaching that we have, we have the Nuc Dimittis. Lord, now we have seen your servant. Soon we shall see him in flesh and blood, and he will have his fingerprint upon us and upon our soul, forgiving us of all of our sins. Thanks be to God that the Father, through his Son, would always receive his prodigal children, us, and that as we rise and depart in peace, the fingerprint of Christ will be upon you. But the question is where? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And now may the peace which surpasses all human understanding keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Please rise for prayer. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. For the faithful proclamation of Christ's saving name in God's people, 
that, that God's people may be strengthened in the true faith in His kingdom extended. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the Holy Christian Church throughout the world and for all who confess the name of Christ, that God would guard and defend us from the temptations of the devil, the world, and our sinful nature. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for this congregation, its mission, and its people, for the ability to meet the needs that arise as we do the work of God that He has given us to do, that You have given us to do, and for the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the educational institutions of our synod, for our preschools, our day schools, our high schools, our colleges, and our universities, and for our seminaries, that those who teach and those who learn in them would be transformed by the wisdom of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for all who partake this day of Christ's holy body and blood, that in their eating and drinking they may receive the benefits of the forgiveness of sins and the renewal of life and have a foretaste of the feast to come. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who rejoice in the rich blessings of God, that they may always remember the giver of every gift and give him heartfelt thanks. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Heavenly Father, we gratefully remember the sufferings and death of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, for our salvation. Rejoicing in his victorious resurrection from the dead, we draw strength from his ascension before you, where he ever stands for us, our own high priest, Gather us together from the ends of the earth to celebrate with all the faithful in the marriage feast of the Lamb in His kingdom, which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers. Deliver and preserve us. For you alone we give all glory, honor, and worship. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is truly meet, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name evermore praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, blessed is he, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This this do as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. O Christ, thou Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Christ, the Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Christ, the Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, Grant us thy peace. Amen. The body of Christ. Good. Here you. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Amen. The way we will do communion, for those of you who would like to kneel, simply line and uh, I will, and you can kneel and I will commune you. For those of you who, read, who read, would rather stand, simply come around. Um, the, la the last thing that we are going to do is uh, drive through communion. So if you want to stand, if you normally stand, you can come here. If you normally kneel, you can normally kneel. Sticks, because we can have we can have a, sta a one standing here, and then one, two, three, four, five. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. The 
body of Christ given for you. Amen. May our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep in your baptismal grace for life everlasting. Amen. Who and what is this? The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ given for you. Amen. May our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep in your baptismal grace to life everlasting. Amen. Who and what is this? The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. Amen. blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Who and what is this? The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Amen. Who and what is this? The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for for you. And now may the eating and drinking of our Lord's body and blood strengthen you in preserving the true faith into life everlasting. Depart in his peace. Amen. body of Christ given for you. May our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you, keep in your baptismal grace into life everlasting. Amen. Who and what is this? The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ given for you. May our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you, keep in your <laughs> baptismal grace into life everlasting. Amen. Who and what is this? The body of Jesus Christ. Amen. May our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep in your baptismal grace and the life everlasting. Amen. Who and what is this? The body of Jesus Christ. Amen. The body of Christ given for you. May our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep in your baptismal grace and the life everlasting. Amen. Who and what is this? Jesus' body. Amen. The body of Christ given for you. Amen. And now may the eating and drinking of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's body and blood strengthen you in preserving the true faith into life everlasting. Depart in his peace. Amen. <laughs> the blood of Christ shed for you. Who and what is this? The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Who and what is this? The blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you see? Who and what is this? The blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Who and what is this? Jesus' blood. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. And now may the eating and drinking of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, body and blood, strengthen you in preserving the true faith into life everlasting. Depart in his peace. Amen.
the body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. May our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep in your baptismal grace into life everlasting. Amen. This is the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. May our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep in your baptismal grace into life everlasting. Amen. Who and what is this? Jesus' body. Amen. <coughs> The body of Christ given for you. Amen. May our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep in your baptismal grace and life everlasting. Amen. Who and what is this? Jesus' body. Amen. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. This is the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Who and what is this? Jesus' blood. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Who and what is this? Jesus' blood. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. And now may the eating and drinking of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's body and blood strengthen you in preserving the true faith and your life everlasting. Depart in his peace. Amen. body of Christ given for you. Take and drink. This is the blood of Jesus shed for the forgiveness of sins. And now may the eating and drinking of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's body and blood strengthen you and preserve you in the true faith and your life everlasting. Depart in his peace. Amen. Lord, now let us thou
Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. And His mercy endureth forever. Let us pray. O oh God, the Father, the fountain and source of all goodness, who in loving kindness sent Your only begotten Son into the flesh, we thank You for His sake, that You have given us pardon and peace in this sacrament. And we ask you not to forsake your children, but always to rule our hearts and minds by your Holy Spirit, that we may be enabled constantly to serve you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bless we the Lord, thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Hymn number 578. Thy strong word did cleave the darkness At thy speaking it was done For created light we thank thee While thine ordered seasons run Alleluia, Alleluia, praise to Thee who light does send. Alleluia, 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 without end. Lo, on those who dwelt in darkness, dark as night and deep as death, broke the light of thy salvation, breathe thine own life-breathing breath. Alleluia! Alleluia, praise to Thee who light us send. Alleluia, 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 without end. Thy strong word bespeaks us righteous, Bright with thine own holiness. Glorious now we press towards glory, and our lives, our hopes confess. Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise to Thee who light us send. Alleluia, 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 without end. From the cross Thy wisdom shining, breaketh forth in concrete might. 
from the cross forever beameth all thy bright redeeming light. Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise to He who light us send. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Without end, give us lips to sing Thy glory. Tongues thy mercy to proclaim, throats that shout the hope that fills us, mouths to speak thy holy name. Alleluia, Alleluia, make my twitch thou dost send, fill our songs with Alleluia, Alleluia, without end. God the Father, Light Creator, to Thee laud and honor be. To the light of light begotten, praise be sung eternally. Holy Spirit, light revealer, glory, glory be to Thee. Mortals, angels, now and 